Okay, in this particular lesson, what we're going to look at is evaluating absolute value expressions. Um, as an introduction to what an absolute value is, um, a set of absolute value brackets, which are a straight vertical set of brackets, uh, makes the evaluated expression inside of it positive. Uh, visually, the absolute value of a number is its distance. So if you want a visual representation of what absolute value is, is its distance uh, from zero on the number line. So let's look at evaluating a few absolute value expressions. Uh, the absolute value of 4, uh, if you look up here, the distance from 4 to 0 on the number line is 4. So the absolute value of 4, four is 4, um, the evaluated expression inside of uh, the absolute value set of brackets is 4. Uh, the next one, the absolute value of negative 4, or the distance from negative 4 to 0 on the number line is positive 4. Uh, so it makes the uh, expression inside of it positive. Uh, the next particular example, uh, what this is going to be is evaluated as 5 minus positive 9 because the absolute value of negative 9 is positive 9 and that answer is negative 4. In the next example, uh, what you're going to do is you always evaluate the expression inside the absolute value first. So do not make this 3 plus 9, evaluate that expression first. So this is going to be 4 minus 2 uh, times the absolute value of negative 6 which is 4 minus 2 times now we can make that uh, expression positive, 4 minus 2 times 6, which is 4 minus 12, or in other words, negative 8. Uh, in this next one, first of all, simplify the entire expression. Uh, so this is going to be uh, the absolute value of negative 2 times negative 3 squared plus 13, which is the absolute value of negative 2 times 9 plus 13, which is the absolute value of negative 18 plus 13, which is the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5. Uh, finally, we're going to look at a word problem and how absolute values can help us with it. Uh, this word problem says, in Red Deer, Alberta, the temperature went from negative 11 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius to negative 2 to negative 5 degrees Celsius to negative 20 degrees Celsius. Use absolute value symbols to write an expression for the total change in temperature. What was the total change in temperature? So before I solve this one, uh, let me explain it and actually get to a solution um, before I actually solve it. So negative 11 degrees Celsius. Then it goes to 7 degrees Celsius. Uh, then it goes to negative 2 degrees Celsius. Then it goes to 5 degrees Celsius. Then it goes to negative 20 degrees Celsius. Well, as far as total temperature change goes, uh, we could look at all of these gaps. The total temp temperature change uh, from 11, negative 11 to 7 degrees Celsius is an 18 degrees Celsius temperature change. Uh, from 7 to negative 2 is a total of 9 degrees Celsius temperature change. Uh, from negative 2 to 5 is a total of 7 degrees Celsius temperature change. And finally, from 5 degrees Celsius to negative 20 is a total of 25 degrees Celsius temperature change. Uh, so the total temperature change uh, would be, in this particular case, I believe 59 uh, degrees Celsius total temperature change. Um, now, <clears throat> As far as using uh, absolute values to express this or to represent this, uh, what we could do is take the difference between each pair of values and take the absolute value because then what that's going to always do is give us a positive value. So in other words, um, I could take, if I subtract uh, negative 11 minus 7, the absolute value of that is 18 degrees Celsius. And I add that to the difference between these two which would be uh, 7 degrees Celsius minus negative 2 degrees Celsius. If I take the absolute value of that, I get 9 degrees Celsius. The nice thing about the absolute value is that it's always going to make the value positive, and it doesn't matter which order you take the difference in um, because you get the same absolute value. Uh, and the next one, you could represent that as being the difference between uh, negative 2 and 5 degrees Celsius and that would get us a total of 7 degrees Celsius. And finally, if we take the difference between 5 degrees Celsius and negative 20, again, it doesn't matter if we do 5 minus negative 20 or negative 20 minus 5, uh, the absolute value of that will be 25 degrees Celsius. So when I add those, I still get 59 degree total change, but absolute values are useful to represent that.